Life beckons. Choose wisely. G'day, welcome to Jez Beer Reviews. Today we're going to be trying the Rush's Real. The Rush's Real, this is the Rush's Real Lager. It's 330ml, brown bottle, 4.2% ABV. I paid about $48 a carton for this at uh, about probably four or five months ago down there at Maxwell Bottle Mart. Um, it uh, was a pretty good price. I did see recently Dan Murphy's Port Macquarie for a member offer for $40 a carton. So, I actually had the other Rush's Real, the bitter, I think it was. I had reviewed that uh, back like nearly 12 years ago. So, time flies. I'm gonna use this uh, Colton draft glass. It is a Colton United beer these days. So, just watching Hess review. Hess reviewed a while ago. He was saying, I. The Russia's Appreciation Society is a fair bit of hate for this beer. Uh, a lot of them do. The dinner ale's been the, the peak of them, I think, for most of them, and you also can get the, the Russia's on tap. But we've got two finger head. Ah, you've got a golden appearance. A bit of carbonation streaming up on this uh, hot Australian summer day. I'm silly enough to be uh, brewing a beer at the moment, but I'll show a little bit of footage at the end. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, it looks appetizing, you know, it looks pretty good in this glass, I'll be honest. Uh, let's have a, have a go at the aroma. It smells all right. It smells, uh, it smells like they're using the typical uh, sugar cane adjunct aroma to the beer. It smells Australian. You're probably sick of me saying that, but it smells Australian. So cheese is all. Actually, and cheese to the uh, Russia's uh, Appreciation Society. They're uh, doing great work. All right, so nice, light, malty flavour, light, light toast and mould. So we get that, yeah, prior, the prior ringwood flavour there. It's pretty smooth, to be honest with you. There's no real business to speak of. Uh, session build is pretty good. I had a drink a fair few of these. My brother-in-law and I working on a... Um, Working on a, uh, a property, uh, yeah, we pretty much just sort of got the car and for me, pretty much we were sinking them down pretty easy. They're going down pretty smooth. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best beer that's ever made, and a lot of people argue that DA is better, and I'd probably tend to agree. DA is a stronger ABV. What was it? 4.6, 4.6, 4.9, I think 4.9. Yeah, lace in this glass, which is a pretty good effort. It actually is better. The Powers, uh, CUB, who brewed this, of course, CUB, Co United, relaunched Powers and very similar to this. They're selling 30, 30 packs of cans, the blocks. <laughs> and the Rush's, and the Rush's rule is all, it, it, it's streets above the Powers. The Powers absolutely horrible. But I think the Rush's is pretty good. And so definitely an improvement on the original uh, Rush's real bitter they had it years ago. So I think, it, personally, I think it's all positive. If I'm buying it, I know what I'm getting. I think it's pretty solid enough. I'm happy to say, because sessionability is astronomically high, you suck these down easy, and they're great. Get a cart and share friends. Good barbecue beer, and everyone likes the rushes, so. I'm happy to say it's not the best beer, uh, but you know what it is? It's pretty solid, and for some of the beer CUB's been putting out the last 12 months, you, it's actually pretty darn good in comparison to the, the rest of them, these new, uh, rubbish beers have been launching so I think they've done a alright job there definitely better than the powers thank god for that I'm happy to give this say a good a good beer the rest is real lager I don't know how long it's going to stay in the market for they could be clearing it out they tend to do runs on them but uh, oh, I don't see why there shouldn't be a place for it but in saying that too uh, Great Northern really has a stranglehold which is brewed by C Co United as well has a stranglehold on the 4.2% um market there you just go you got the blackfish or you got the you got the red great northern which is 4.2 um a lot of people probably get just great northern due to the name but enjoyable all right i'm gonna show you a little bit of footage you guys take care i'll see you the next one all right just brewing a dark lager here 